G'day guys, welcome back. Look what I've got. A huge set of dominoes. Like, not huge as in the number of dominoes, because you still get 28 pieces. These are double sixes. Uh, I have made a double nine as well, so that if you want double nines, you get the six and the nine separately, but I'm just doing the sixes today. Now, what I had in my mind was this kind of starry night kind of look for my dominoes. And I really want to use this washi tape that I've bought. I've, I've never used washi tape before and I didn't really know what to do with it. But when it comes, it's like, it's really thin and it's sticky on the other side. And I thought, you know, that's going to be really, really difficult to work with. I'm going to have to trim up you know, I'm going to have to cut them to size because it's a little bit wider. I bought the three centimetre wide washi tape, but it's just really difficult to work with. So I got this piece of plastic. <clears throat> it was actually the backing on one of my rolls of um, cellophane or holographic paper, something like that. And I thought, oh, I'll keep that. So what I thought I would do, because this is just... Not very easy to work with unless you guys know how I can work with this more easily but because I've got 28 to do what I thought I would do is uh, well I start I'll start up here I'm going to put the washi tape down on the plastic Let's see if I can line it up like that And that'll make it, I'm hoping it'll make it a little bit easier for me to work with. I haven't gone straight though, because I'm trying to do it on an angle. But see now it's it's easy enough for me to cut. I'll measure that. I think it's about five and a half centimetres. So I'll measure that, put that there. I'll just trim off the edges. Um, and then, yeah, I think that'll be much more user friendly for me. So I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to use, now... I'm in two minds about this. I either put the washi tape down, I put some clear in everybody first, then put the washi tape down like that, and then do your dots on top of this. But I'm kind of thinking it's going to be too busy, especially with like the 6-6. Six, six. You're going to have like all white dots. You're not even going to see this. It's kind of like, oh, what do you call that? The constellations in the sky I, I'm, I'm not sure it's got a bit of blue and a bit of silver in it and then I was thinking I might just pour in my mix of my lovely navy and sparkle that I did with my Christmas ornaments last the other week um, and then lay this down facing up and then put a layer of clear over it so either way I do it's going to be two layers but I'm kind of probably heading more that way. So when you turn them over, you'll have this beautiful blue sparkle background with the silver or white dots. And then when the dominoes are turned upside down so that you can't see the numbers, then you'll see this on top. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go and cut all these. I'm going to stick all this down properly, cut them all out to size, and then I will come back to you. Right, so I've been cutting up my little rectangles there's got to be an easier way now I don't have a Cricut I think that's what it's called you know the machine that prints out things in different shapes would have been perfect I still have to go and round all of these off but because I wanted to use this washi tape I thought I'll just have to cut it by hand but I'm thinking maybe I should get one is that is that the best thing like to get I'd have to use um, Maybe try and find similar paper and put that in. And then you can say, I want it this shape. Can't you? Is that right? I, I don't know. You guys let me know. Those of you who are cricket fanatics. Is it cricket or is it a circuit? I don't even know. I'm going to have to research it. Anyway, I'll work on those a bit later on. I'll put them out of the way. Um, now, I have decided that I'm going to do the starry, starry night look on the base because it's going to be too busy then with all the little dots. So um, I'm going to use the same mix as I did with my Christmas ornaments, and I better do it over here so I don't spill. So I'm using my favourite blue, which is the Deep Azurite from Art Tree Creations. 
and I just pour all of that in there actually. Uh -huh, maybe not. <laughs> I probably don't need that much. It's almost empty, you see. I have got another one. Actually, you might need all that anyway. And then I'm going to add some sparkle. But I just wipe that off, hadn't I? Some sparkle. It's just a very, very, very sort of thin sparkle. Very fine is what I'm trying to say. All right, mix that up. I'll leave the jars open in case I need more of either. Um, it's not a it's not a sparkle white. It's just it's just called sparkle. Now I got that from Artie Sue oh, a couple of years ago, but Artie Sue is no longer in business. So I guess you could just look for just a sparkle. Really, it's a very fine glitter. That's all it is. There we go. Look at that. Really, it's, it takes over the, the glitter, the sparkle. All right, so I don't need any more of that, but I might put in the rest of this blue. I'll just do it. There we go. Go on, skis. Put the lid back on that one. All right. Just think I needed a little bit darker. Now, I was telling you about the domino sizes. You know how I said it's a big set? It is a big set, and it's a big set because... It's tournament size. Now, I had to research domino sizes. Did you know there were three different sizes? I didn't. There's the standard ones, which are pretty small and pretty thin. And then there's the professional ones, which are a little bit longer and a little bit thicker. And then there's the tournament ones, which are the ones that I've made. They're the longest, the widest, and they're really thick. So I will give you the dimensions later. But it's in my eBay store, the dimensions, like with the, um, with the photos and everything and all the details. So it's in the eBay store. How's that looking? Starry, starry night. Yes. Now, <laughs> look, I had no idea how much resin to make up for these. I probably made up way too much. I want to fill them kind of three quarters of the way because then I'm going to put the washi tape down on top of it and then a little layer of clear. So I'm going to pour it into here. I am using the Platinum River Table resin. I'm hoping, because it's nice and thin, I'm hoping that we won't get too many bubbles. Like if all the domino sets that I've seen people make, They've all got little bubbles in them, and look, it's just something you have to deal with, don't you, when you're making handmade products. But I'm hoping to minimise the bubbles by using the River Table resin, which is nice and thin. It has a long cure time, so bubbles can come up and release. Um, and then I'm going to spray with a bit of 100% alcohol as well. But before I do that, I'm going to pour into here. I guess I could just straight from here couldn't I maybe maybe we'll see okay here we go otherwise I'm doing too many things at once okay one two buckle my shoe here we go it's gonna do like half full for the moment it's gonna take a while isn't it we'll do two of those try and get them kind of half full Love these colours. This blue. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I had no idea how much resin to make up. And if you spill, don't worry. We'll go over and clean it off later. Spray with alcohol. I use the 100% alcohol. Isopropyl. So I'll just put a little bit in each. And then I'll come back and bring them up to like the three-quarter way. The first domino set I made, <laughs> uh, I was really silly. I thought, oh, I'm going to make them really pretty. I'm going to use clear resin 
with gold flakes. And um, it never occurred to me that until after I'd done it that I could see through them and you could see the dots on the other side <laughs> oh, because the resin was clear. Rookie mistake. Oh my gosh. So now I know to make them opaque so that you can't see the numbers on the other side. Hey. <laughs> Alright, look, just fast forward if you don't want to watch this. I'm not going to stop, take my gloves off, pause the camera, do this. I put the gloves back on, do this, <laughs> finish it off, take the gloves off, push, record. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just going to do it, okay? It'll probably take me less time than doing all that, so just bear with me. Spraying as I go. Gosh, you guys, my cup's getting empty quickly. Here am I thinking I made up way too much. After I've done this, I'll tell you how much I made up. I've got it written down. I have a notebook next to me, and I write down everything so that when I need to do something again, I can go, oh, how much did I use again? How much was that? Well, how long did I wait until I had popped the blooms, you know? So it's really good having a little notebook next to you. Two squirts in each. Gosh. Now I still have got a little bit more in my cup over here. My cup. My cup floweth over. Now I'm just going to grab a little baby wipe. Because I don't like mess. I don't like mess. I'm just going to clean up as I go. If you can clean up as you go, it's much easier than trying to pick dried resin off. You know, once it's cured. It's not much fun. There we go. Now there's little droplets of alcohol here and there, but I'm not going to worry about that. Now, don't torch, all right, because there's too much silicone. When you're doing like a really big piece and, you know, 99% of it is resin, you can torch lightly. But this, you're going to torch the silicone, so don't do it, all right? Don't do it. You can use a little bit of alcohol at the afterwards. But this is the back, so you're not going to see it. doesn't matter if there's a couple of bubbles on the top. Right, here we go. Now this is where I'm just going to try and make them all kind of even. And I don't know what else to do with navy blue resin, so they're all going to have a little bit more. Try and keep them about the same. Now this is going to, I was going to say I'd have to wait for tomorrow, but if I was unmoulding, oh gosh you're a bit full there. Um, the river table resin has a much longer cure time. I can't really unmold until at least 18 hours. But for the top coat, I don't need to unmold. I just need it to be set enough or cured enough that I can come along and put that washi tape. I nearly said Yoshi. <laughs> they used to play Yoshi's Island. Good old Nintendo games, hey? I'm showing my age now, aren't I? <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'll just wait until it's cured enough for me to come along and put my washi tape down um, and then I'll do the top coat and then when I do the top coat I'll actually use um, my 360 plus because it cures much faster so I'll use that. Alright, how's that looking? All right, so I'm going to have a little fiddle for a little bit longer just to add a little bit more here and there just until they're all full. Um, let's give it a quick spray. Light misting. These are good, these little tiny travel bottles because they've got a really small mister. The mister that comes with this one, it, it sort of drops much bigger droplets, so I'll go with this one. Alright, so that's it for me for now. Um, oh, gosh. I might as well... I, I, I like to use these when I've got leftover resins and uh, they're great for little giveaways. So, my puffy heart mould. Just wait for it to go around the little hook there. It's got a built-in bale so that you can just thread your piece of leather or... Um, string or chain or whatever you want to do just thread it straight through all right so that's that one done actually i can do another one let's do another one i hope 
hope the people that get these as gifts appreciate them. Because, <laughs> you know, I'm thinking, they would have seen me make it. And they go, oh, that's mine. She made that one. I saw her make that one. You know? <laughs> I can just imagine people getting and going, oh, I watched her make that. I just pop them in for, um, you know, when people buy a few of my moulds, I just pop it in as a little gift to say thank you. All right, so that's pretty much empty. Um, I might just put a little bit more in some of those that need it. And um, then I'll come back to you when it's time to put the next layer on. I forgot to tell you how much I mixed up. I was pouring these in, filling them up a little bit. All right, so for the first part, the first layer here, I did 225 grams of A and 97 grams of B of the Platinum River Table Raisin. It's a two to one. So that gave me 322 grams, which is about 11 ounces, okay? About 11 ounces, just under 11 ounces. And then, um, so I had a little bit left over. I did two hearts, probably got a little bit more left over here. I don't want to fill them too much because I need some room for my clear. So you don't need more than 300 grams or 10 ounces. I think that would be plenty and then you've got a little bit left over as well. Or if you want to fill them all up, you probably need the 11 ounces. All right, see you soon. It's been a long wait for this to set enough for me to put these on. So it's 7 a.m. next day. I've got all my little pieces cut. I was researching a Cricut. And I'm thinking, maybe a Cricut Joy. I don't need anything major. I just need something to cut shapes for me. But then I thought, oh, it's a big expense just to cut some for dominoes. I should just do it by hand. So I don't know. Anyway, I'm hoping they're about the right size. I can touch them. If I push my fingernail and it still makes a dent, but at least I think if I get it wrong, I can pick it back up again. There we go. Yay! The first one's down. Oh, 27 more to go. Oh, see, that's a little bit crooked, that one. And I, oh, look, I can pick it up and put it down again. I think this is something that I'm going to have to do, though, where I can get my head right over the top here rather than on the side so I can see better. So I'll do a few and then I'll, I'll just do this. See, I can't see down there now. So I bring my head around this side. So, yeah, I'm going to have to do it without videoing it, I think. But basically, this is all I'm going to do, okay? And then once I've done all of them, um, I can make up my clear. I don't need very much and just pour the clear over the top. I am wondering though, because this is a much thinner resin than I usually use for this navy and sparkle, I'm wondering if the sparkle is going to kind of sink more, if you know what I mean, because it's a thinner resin. But anyway, it's too late now. It's, it's done. We're just going to have to see what happens. All right. So I will come back to you once I've done these and we're ready to pour the clear on. I've got my clear resin mixed up. Uh, I did, what did I do? 125 grams of A and 55 grams of B. In the Platinum 360 Plus. Again, it's probably going to be more than I need, but I'd rather have some left over. I'll make a note of how much I do use for next time. So I've pop some in here. With the dominoes, because there's so many, you know, corners, it's a good idea just to pour some and let the resin find its own way into the corners rather than sort of pouring everywhere. I don't know why my dogs are barking this morning. So just pour it into the middle. It's easier with a little cup like this that you can pinch and make a spout. And hopefully that resin will find its own way into the corners. If it doesn't, you can push, you know, pop a little bit more on, which I'm going to need to put more on anyway. We'll just start with a little bit. And 
being a liquid and self-leveling, <clears throat> it should just find its own way. Just don't fill your cup too, too high, otherwise it drips down the bottom, down the side. That one hasn't quite got to the corners yet. All right, here we go. We're getting there. It's good actually having the resin like still a little bit, well actually it's not tacky, but it's still soft. Soft enough for these little pieces of paper to adhere well, um, but not so runny that it's going to create bubbles underneath. Because you don't want bubbles underneath, do you? You don't want your paper lifting up. So I think doing it this way is probably the, the better way. Well, for me anyway. Not that I've done many. All right, just fill that up again. Now over here to my left are my paint pens that I ordered a couple of weeks ago and they've arrived. So I'm going to try those for my dots. I'll either do white or silver. I'm, I'm heading more towards silver because there's silver in the back here. All right, so now I'm just going to go through and top up. Now that the resin's made its way into all the little corners there. And then, uh, because it's the 360 plus, I'll be able to unmold these later on today. It's going to be a little bit tricky though, because I can touch the top and say, okay, the 360 is ready, but I don't know about the bottom. But the bottom does take about 18 hours, the river resin. So... I'll wait till this afternoon. Probably did it, do it about mid-afternoon, <clears throat> I think. Now I'm just going to make sure I've got enough to go around. <laughs> I don't want to run out and have a couple that are not full enough. I didn't scrape my cup though, so I'd probably get a little bit more out. Oh, are we going to do it? Are we going to do it? I'm glad I made up that little bit of extra. I was thinking, oh, I don't need one, 125, I'll just do 100, but. Uh, yeah, I was gonna do 143 grams, and then I decided 125 and 55 grams. All right, let's scrape the rest of this out. Hopefully there's enough in there just to do those last couple. It's up to you if you want to make them, you know, really full and make them dome or whether you just want to have them flat on the bottom. If they're just flat on the bottom, you probably just need to run um, a little nail file around the edges because you get that little lip as the resin cures and shrinks a little bit. You get that little sharp edge, so you may have to just file that down. Lucky last. Let's scrape that. <laughs> oh well, just enough, you guys. I reckon a little bit of extra would have been good just to have that little tiny bit of extra in case I wanted to fill anybody else up a bit. No, because I haven't gone through and checked it yet, so probably another ounce would have been good. I may still do that. Let me look across the top pretty good. There's not much room left in them. Alrighty, let me just get my gloves off. I'll show you my paint pens. I just got them on eBay. I got, so that's it, paint, Ghana marker, marks on anything oil-based. don't think it was written by an English person <laughs> because it says shaking the paint pen before using pressing the nib for really assing gas inside one word in pen pressing the nib several times but we get the message you push it so that's my black and then I got white and then I got gold and silver 
so I haven't opened it yet. So you need to, you know, push down and get that silver paint to come down. So anyway, I'm hoping I can use that when I when I unmold them. All right, I'm gonna get myself cleaned up. I'm gonna have a coffee because I haven't had a coffee yet. It's early, and uh, I'll see you this afternoon. Just come down and see if I can show you what they look like. So they're pretty full. A couple there that could do with a little bit more. I'll probably make up another 30, 30 grams, another ounce, and just make sure they're all full. Right, I'm back. It's been a few hours. Um, hopefully that's it. Well, it's been, what time did I do them? I think I did them at like about 8 a.m. and now it's 2 p.m. So hopefully they are ready. Let's start over here. I'm really nervous. I'm really nervous. Oh, it's out. <laughs> so there's a tiny little bit of sanding, like I said, I'm going to have to do. But all I'll do, I'm not going to do it now because I'm going to dust all over. I guess I could, I guess I could do that. Is just really lightly, just go over the edge like that. You can feel it. It's smoother already. All the way around. Like so. Oh, that needs a little bit more. But you get the general idea. That's all you need to do. And uh, you can you can feel if it needs any more. But uh, if you fill them up more, like they're doming, you don't tend to get that little lip. So it's up to you which way you want to do it. But that's the back. <gasps> It's the back. Look at it. I need to stand on my little step so I can see what you're seeing. Right. Let's have a look at the other side, shall we? Oh, this is exciting. Oh, <laughs> I picked the one with no dots. Oh, my gosh. But, yeah, look, the silver. The silver has definitely fallen down because it's such a thin resin so I was expecting it to be a bit darker but that's okay it's still it's still a a shimmery what does I call it like a galaxy type look anyway all right let's get this out of the way now while I was waiting the postie arrived and he brought me this paint markers oops open the other side Paint markers. I forgot I'd order these. Green, yellow, brown, pink, gold, purple, blue, white, silver, black, red, orange. Now, I was going to do like a silver, but I'm thinking maybe because it's quite silver already, I'm thinking maybe the black. So we've got that one. And then we've got the black from this one. So I wonder what they both look like. As in the nibs. It's that size. Probably they're going to be about the same, aren't they? Really. Oh, actually, this one's that one's a little bit pointier. on the right's got a little bit more of a point and that one's more rounded but either one is going to have to be pushed down to get the black to come through there's my other lid gone oh there it is all right so anyway we'll, we'll see which ones um, I want to use let's just get this out real quick So that's, that's really quite interesting. You can see there, see on the side, you can see how that's more navy and then how all the silver's fallen to the deepest point there. It's actually a really pretty look. I like that. 
I was hoping the dominoes would be darker though rather than quite so silver on top but next time next time I'll, I'll realize that that's what you're going to get with the thinner resin all right enough chatter let's get all these out I've got to make sure my bench is clean I'll get them all out you guys go over there for a minute There's some nice weight in these, like they feel nice in your hand. They're not thin and flimsy like some. And then of course this mould. <laughs> this mould's a very heavy mould. It weighs 750 grams, which is, oh gosh, it's two kilos, no, what is it? Two pounds in a kilo. Two pounds in a kilo. Is that right? So these are three quarters of a kilo. So, oh gosh, what's that? About one and a half pounds? I think. I think it's one and a half pounds that the that weighs. It's quite. It's quite a big, heavy, thick mold. All right, put that to the side. Normally put you over there. All right, you guys. Now, I'm not going to worry about sanding all the edges at the moment. Um, most of them are pretty good. Can you see there how you've got half clear and... It's probably a third clear and two-thirds navy. All right, now the test. I'll just flip them all over and see how we went for bubbles, eh? Oh, look at them, you guys. <laughs> oh, gosh. They look really cute like that, though, don't they, with all the different, with the navy. So, yeah, a bit more silvery than what I was anticipating. But, yay, they look amazing. Right, here's the 6-6. Six, six. Checking for bubbles. Let's check for bubbles. That's the most important thing. It's really annoying when you see people make dominoes and there's bubbles everywhere. I don't see any. I don't see any at all. <gasps> Yay. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. No bubbles. No bubbles. Feel nice and smooth. You know how sometimes you run your finger around, you can feel like there's a little hole where there's been a bubble? Oh, they're so cute, you guys. I love them. All right. Now, let's see which marker we'll use. Uh, Oh, maybe white. Maybe white. I think maybe white would be better, actually, because we've got, see, we've got black and blue and silver on the back. So, and we've got sort of a silvery blue. I'm thinking maybe the white, because the white's, the white, oh gosh, I don't know. What would you use on them? Would you use white? Or would you use black? I'm think, I don't know. I'm thinking... I don't need silver, that's for sure, because we've got enough silver. I'll try and get that plastic off. It's a challenge in itself. Okay. So there's that brand and there's that brand. All right. I'll give it a shake. This is my blotting card here. Now, what does this say? Super writing. Oil-based, no transparent, shaking the paint pen before using. Okay, so oil-based, no transparent. See, that's the thing that I'm, I've been after, like enamel or oil-based, um, because I want that good coverage. Do you know how normally when you just use a marker, I'm going to push this to get the colour down. When, when you use a marker, it's kind of streaky and you have to do a, a few coats. <laughs> oh, there it comes. Be careful shaking it because sometimes colour can fly out everywhere when you're shaking them. So, All right. All right, you guys. All right, here we go. Let's try one, shall we? Let's try one. Can you see? Let's see how easy this is to do. Ah! Look at that! Look at that! 
All right, now the test, the line. With, with the line, I think if you go over, because some of us have got sort of not very steady hands, and if your marker's a little bit thick, um, and you go over the edges like that, I'm actually just gonna give it a push to get the color to run down. Ah, oh, that worked, that worked. Give it a push, get the color to come down. But see how I've gone over the edges a little bit? What I'm thinking is, once I've done them all, I don't know if it'll work now because it's still wet, but maybe afterwards, let's just give it a wipe like that. What do you think? Put some alcohol on it. Oh yes, spray of alcohol on it. Okay, so that's, that's a white. What do we think of the white? I kind of want to try it. Oh gosh, I wish you guys could talk to me. Should we do the white or should we do the black? I'm going to try one white and one black and then I can see what they look like. You can leave comments in the box down below on which you think looks better, the black or the white. See, it starts off like that with no colour in it. But that was easy to do, like when I was filling my holes last time. Oh my gosh, I got it everywhere. I overflowed them. Here we go, here it comes. Here it comes. Okay, let's try this one. And we'll see which one looks better. Sorry if it's gonna be a long video. That works just, oh my gosh, that works just beautifully. Because last time I did this, I put paint with a little bit of water in a nose um, like a, what do they call them, nib nose or nose tipped or something like that bottle and I squeezed it out but sometimes I'd squeeze out too much and it all overflowed and I had to make sure that the paint was the right consistency and oh, it's just a hassle. I don't know if that's just, there we go, look at that. Alright now I'm going to push in and let the colour come out. Okay, got to do it a few times. All right, now let's get the little wipe and just go over the top. I guess you could do this afterwards, like if you've done all your colors or all your dots and then you just wipe over the top. See, like so. Look, I'm no expert, I'm still learning. <laughs> all right, what do you think? What do we think? What do we think? Black or white, black or white. I think I'm liking the black better, only because it's got it's so dark on the other side. <laughs> I'm so indecisive, aren't I? I'm, oh, I don't know. All right, here we go. I think it's easier if I actually to put them down rather than trying to hold them up here. If I just put them down. Get off my little my little box that I was looking through and I can just one, two, three, four, five. How quick's that? One, two, three. Done skis. Done. Wow, that was quick. Um, but yeah, I will have to just clean up the edge. It's only that um, the line in the middle that needs a little wipe. The others are all good. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Look how fast it is. Oh my gosh, this is not going to take me very long at all, is it? And nice big dots. Nice big dots. All right, now I wonder if I can go over that. I wonder how long it takes for it to dry. Ha! Look at that! It obviously dries pretty quickly. What do you think? Yeah, I think I like the black better. All right, I'm going to do all of those. I thought that was a bubble, but no. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. No bubbles at all. And these, these are good. These are good. I'll try that black one just to see what the difference is. It's got a thicker nib though. 
But yeah, if you're looking for these, get get something that's oil based um, or like enamel. It says enamel or oil based. Um, just because it's going to give you a really good opaque colour first off. You're not going to have to, um, you know, do multiple coats. But they're about the same. I think this nib's just a little bit wider. So I'll stick with that one. Put that one away. But this pack, um, I'll have to see where I got it from. Maybe I can link it for you because it's got lots of different colours. So, you know, you can do pink ones and you can do blue dots. So I think that'll be really good. So I'll, I'll find a link on where I got that from. Have a little squirt of alcohol. I'm just going to go across the tops like that. Probably need to wait until it's had a little bit more chance to dry. But look, it's coming off perfectly. It's not smudging. Oh, look at that. It's just brilliant. I think do all of them and then just go around with your baby cloth, your baby wipe, and just do that and get all of them. Although try not to go onto your circles at the same time. There we go. What do you think, you guys? All right, I'm going to go and finish them all. So that's the look we're going to get. All right, I will see you shortly after I've done all of these. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you, the tops are all dry. And you know how I didn't fill them up, the domino cavities, all the way? So when I unmolded them, I had... A slight little lip I don't know if you can see it so anyway what I thought I would do is just give them each a light sanding don't go across the top you don't want to scratch the top I'm going on an angle I'm going like that on an angle just doing the the very edge just all the way around doesn't take long making sure that I'm not getting the top because I don't want to scratch the top. So what happens is, those of you that have ever sanded resin know that where you've sanded, it loses its like clear look and you get that little grey edge. So I was thinking, I thunk, I'm going to do the edges with some silver because A, it'll just finish off that base and B, it'll pick up the silver that's already in there. So win-win. And next time I'll fill them up a little bit more, hey? Like it was the first time using my new domino set, so I wasn't quite sure what to expect. So again, with, with, the, um, with your silver pen, I'm just going to use the edge of the silver pen and I'm just going to run it along the top like that. So I'm using the side of my marker just on that very tippy top. Go around, make sure you don't touch the silver. I'm, I mean I'm not getting much on the sides but a little bit might be on the side. Um, and you don't want to get it on your fingers and then spreads everywhere so just a little bit just do the very tippy top edge there and that's it so that's the silver <sighs> got some dust <laughs> that's the silver edge and then that's without the silver edge don't touch the silver jewelry so there you go. Again, let me know which of these you prefer. You can write in the comments section down below. Do you like the silver edge or do you prefer it just plain like that? So anyway, a couple of things for you to <laughs> comment on. I'm going to go, oops, I'm going to go and sand the rest of them. I've done sort of half. I'm going to do the other half. And then, um, and then I'm done. I, I'm not going to do the top edge because it's you can already see that's got silver on the edge there, 
and it goes into that navy. So I don't feel like I need to add more silver to it, um, but on the base, I think it looks nice having a little silver edge. So, But anyway, you let me know what you think and um, I'll set it up for a, a photo shortly. This is how they're looking so far. I'm really happy with them. Oh, <laughs> drop it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> there we go. I'll have to practice more with dominoes. I, I think I've done like, this is my third set ever. So yeah, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll continue to do them because it's a lot of fun. And I want to put dried flowers in one and oh, all kinds. I want to do like, um, you know, dusting with chameleon colors as well. So, oh, there's lots of things I want to do. So that'll all be coming up soon. See you soon.